The birth of Huawei Harmony OS officially announced that the mobile operating system has gotten rid of its dependence on American companies and also let the outside world see the dawn of the end of the U.S. technological hegemony. Huawei has also been working hard to build the Harmony OS ecosystem. Now it has successfully divided the world with iOS and Android systems and crossed the life and death line. And major domestic internet companies have also announced that they will cooperate to launch Harmony OS native APP. Recently, Huawei officially announced the upgrade of the pure-blooded Next version. The latest test results have been given. Unfortunately, WeChat has once again dragged its feet this time. It has not been adapted and has occupied system space for a long time. Does Tencent not intend to support domestic products? Regarding the Harmony OS Next version, the media's final test has been given. In summary, the phone is smarter, the voice assistant is fully intelligent, the system interaction logic has its own characteristics, and in terms of privacy, which users care about most, this time Huawei has surpassed Apple's iOS system. Let's take the Android system as an example. Since it is open for authorized use, major mobile phone manufacturers need to customize it in depth. In order to make better profits, these manufacturers will inadvertently let users download various software, occupying a lot of memory, causing the phone to become more and more stuck. People are curious. Once they download the app, they will unconsciously click on it. This requires authorization of various permissions. The photo album, address book, mobile phone data, etc. are all visible. They will even learn the user's hobbies in the background for precise marketing. This is undoubtedly a hooliganism, and this is also the reason why Android cannot move towards the high end. Once the camera permission of a mobile phone is turned on, it means that the user has no privacy at all and can be monitored anytime and anywhere. Even a small software requires authorization of camera permissions, which makes people think about it. In order to avoid unreasonable deductions, marketing, mobile phone freezes and other problems, many people can only be forced to buy more expensive Apple phones. Although the security of the iOS system can stand the test, the problem lies in the fact that Apple is a US company. All data is controlled by the United States, and problems will arise sooner or later. Based on this, Huawei has made in-depth adjustments. The upgraded Harmony OS Next version has reconstructed the underlying architecture of the system, and third-party applications cannot directly obtain any permissions of the mobile phone. In the past, when we wanted to use the payment function, the payment application would directly call the camera permission to scan the code. This permission was obtained unconsciously. Who knows what he would use it for? The upgraded next version will directly call the camera to take pictures and then hand over the photos to the payment application for processing in real time. In this way, all data is only stored locally on the phone, and no data will be obtained by a third party, but this requires the cooperation of the Harmony OS development team. If APP manufacturers want to list on the Harmony OS mall, they need to be strictly reviewed and finally listed on the App Store, which avoids the entry of some rogue software. But surprisingly, after searching through the Harmony OS next version of the App Store, I didn't find the national instant messaging software WeChat, which means that the subsequent use of WeChat will not be well adapted, which will result in occupying system memory space and mobile phone freezes. This is disappointing. Doesn't Tencent plan to support domestic systems? 
But in fact, Tencent's applications, including QQ, have announced that they will adapt to Harmony OS applications. The reason for not adapting in time is probably that the data is too large and cannot be transferred in the short term. I believe there will be a good result in the future. According to internal news from Tencent, Apple issued a notice to rectify the payment channel loophole last month in order to prevent WeChat game applets from using loopholes to bypass Apple's payment system. At present, Cook's team has issued an ultimatum. If this problem is not solved, the subsequent updates of WeChat will be affected and even removed from the Apple Store. However, facing Apple's 30% tax rate, WeChat did not intend to compromise from the beginning. At present, both parties have come forward to start the negotiation process, but the first meeting was not pleasant and did not achieve the desired effect. According to the revelations of the US media, Apple has reached a consensus internally, and WeChat has little chance of winning this negotiation completely. Although Apple is strong, it is still an American company after all. At the sensitive moment of Sino-US trade conflicts, Apple wants to confront WeChat, which has more than 1 billion domestic users. This is obviously a bit bold. Many domestic media believe that WeChat and Chinese users are deeply tied together, and Apple may lose the entire Chinese market as a result. But to be precise, this is a gamble. If the revenue of WeChat mini programs is one, it will undoubtedly be a significant revenue. More importantly, if it succeeds this time, Apple's 30% tax will be completely stable, and no one will dare to challenge its authority again. Of course, there are many reasons why Apple dares to do this. Although mainland China is the most important market, it is not the only market. As a market worth 3 trillion US dollars, there must be something outstanding. Even if the Chinese market is lost, the overall operation of the company will not fall into crisis. But if you really have to choose between iOS and WeChat, many people probably think that WeChat will be more popular, but this is not absolute, because many people are eyeing the big cake of instant messaging. If the I.O. system cancels WeChat, then other companies will soon take over. It all depends on Apple's attitude. Harmony OS system is the general trend. Under such a background, iOS and Android systems, as American systems, are destined not to go too far in China. On major issues, Tencent is clearer. What do you think about this?